hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. But a lot of you guys probably aren't up to date on, you know, comic book news and nerd culture type stuff. If you are, if you follow me from that half of my, I don't know, internet sphere that I, I dwell in, do you already probably know about this, but I'm going to give it to the other half that probably don't. But, you know, there's a little bit of a crossover, a little bit of crossover. So let's, let's get into it. Jordan Peterson. If you don't know who he is, he is a uh, professor, or I don't know if he still is a professor, but uh, from Canada. He blew up a few years back because he just said, no, that's, that's the worst thing he ever did. He said, no, I will not use your gender pronouns. But, you know, he's literally Hitler to uh, these people. So, of course, Mogwai. So, of course, they need to vilify him any way they can. And it looks like it came back around to him today. Somebody had retweeted a picture of a recent comic, a Captain America comic. Now, that's very important. Now, remember, Captain America. What do you think of whenever you think of Captain America? Not thinking of the Chris Evans but you're thinking America, right? American values, you know, working hard. America, right? Wrong. Not anymore. Not with Marvel now, okay? Marvel now has done away with all that fascist shit. And you know what they have instead? They have Jordan Peterson Red Skull. That's what they got. This was the, the tweet that was sent to him, and he just said, what the hell? Because, like, exactly, like, what the fuck? Uh, contributors to the Atlantic, like Ta-Nehisi Coates, are moving on to comics moving on to comics now i appreciate your your point here but they've been moved okay they done moved over and it's completely been taken over it's not happening at the moment it's not starting to happen it has happened they have taken over comics are currently on the down trajectory down to just complete garbage it's already at complete garbage but like i'm talking about sales like the entire industry is just in the shitter right now because of people like Ta-Nehisi Coates. Now, who is Ta-Nehisi Coates? You may be asking yourself if you're, uh, you know, having a good day and you haven't had it ruined yet. Now, I'm about to ruin it for you. I apologize. Slash, I don't apologize. Comment below if I ruined your day. Ta-Nehisi Coates is a black activist. When you're white in this country, you're taught that everything belongs to you. A social justice warrior type person that uh, fights for justice and racial justice all the justice uh except for you know actual justice <laughs> uh you may have seen him at this summit with aoc so i, I have at this point uh congresswoman watched way too many videos <laughs> of you i mean I'm, I'm deep in like or you may have seen this ta-nehisi coates to pin new superman film for dc extended universe now, you ask yourself, why? Oh, why would you have an activist write for first Captain America in the comic, then Superman? Captain America and Superman are like quintessential America. You know, it's like Americana. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ah, apple pie, Captain America, cheeseburger, Superman. Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's like, these things are America. And it's not a race thing. It's not a black. You can have a black person write Superman or whatever. But they need to understand who Superman is and where he came from and not subvert it. 100%. If you don't think this is a subversion of American values, you ain't woke, bro. You need to wake up because this shit is insidious. Author Ta-Nehisi Coates. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's African-American author to you, sir. That's very important to these people. Ta-Nehisi Coates has been enlisted to write a new Superman film for the DC Films and Warner Brothers with do do da J.J. Abrams. You remember J.J. Abrams? The guy that destroyed Star Trek and Star Wars? That guy? Oh, what about the guy that put out the uh, No More White Comfort memo to his staff? That J.J. Abrams. I'm sorry, DC fans, myself included. J.J. Abrams is coming to Warner Brothers to fuck your shit. Very first step is hiring an activist, not just writing Superman, not Superman, not the Superman you're thinking of. The rumor is it's going to be a tokenized Superman. Now this makes sense because he's an activist, because that's the only lens he sees through. He doesn't see through human experience or the human condition. He sees race. That's it. That's all. So let's hear it. Let's hear a quote. To be invited into the DC Extended Universe by Warner Brothers, DC Films, and Bad Robot is an honor, Coates said in a statement. I look forward to meaningfully... Whoa, hold on. Meaningfully? What does that mean? 
how about you just, you know, adapt a story? I look forward to meaningfully adding to the legacy of America's most iconic, mystic hero. How about you don't meaningfully add anything and you just adapt a story? You know, that this quotations. We what is what is meaningfully? What does meaningfully add to the legacy of America's most iconic mystic hero? What the fuck does mystic hero mean? Who knows? This is a guy that revolves around social justice and BLM and all of that stuff. He, this one pisses me off. He wrote that he watched the Twin Towers get attacked and destroyed on 9-11 and didn't feel anything. He watched it in New York, in Brooklyn, and he didn't feel anything. Basically, we deserved it. This is the guy that's going to be writing for Captain America and Superman. This guy. This guy is an activist, a black social justice activist, and he is writing for the two hugest comic book franchises, Marvel, DC, and he's not just writing social justice comics off on the side like America Chavez. He's writing Captain America and a Superman film. Subversion. And th again, this has fucking nothing to do. Get your shit about race out of here. This has nothing to do about race. This has everything to do about how this guy sees the world. Anyways, I digress about Ta-Nehisi Coates. Let's go back to Jordan Peterson. So let's let's dig in a little bit further into uh, whatever this this comment was. So Jordan Peterson says, "What the hell? This is written by Ta-Nehisi Coates. This is a clear reference, obviously, to Jordan Peterson. On screen, you have ten rules for life. Obviously, Jordan Peterson, twelve rules for life." right? Uh, the Red Skull. Ah, he's online. He's talking to a screen like Jordan Peterson. He's a Nazi. You see, this is cancel culture. This is saying this person is a Nazi, but you're not saying it. You see, you're just equating his ideas and parodying him. Chaos and order. The feminist trap. See, you see, they're equating it to anti-SJW, anti-feminist YouTubers. So it's not just Jordan Peterson. He's doing both Jordan Peterson and anybody that disagrees with the way Marvel now is currently being made. I don't know if this is a recent issue because I don't read that garbage, but I would have to say it's probably within the last couple years. So that was the first one. Let's go to the next one. Just some guy right there. The comics industry has fell to the far left years ago. That's what I'm saying. They're gone. They're gone. Don't shh, bye 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 comics industry. You're gone. We're not trying to we're not trying to save them no more. Here's another uh, excerpt. Yeah, he did. It's the same for all of them young men, weak, looking for purpose. I found the flag. You found the badge. They found the skull. Basically, kind of not really, but definitely equating people that follow the Red Skull to people that follow Jordan Peterson. They're weak young men looking for purpose. He tells them what they've always longed to hear, that they are secretly great, that the whole world is against them, that if they're truly men, they'll fight back. And bingo, that's their purpose. That's what they live for. And that's what they'll die for. Now, what does this fucking sound like? This sounds like some activist garbage, some BLM garbage. That's exactly how Antifa fucking thinks. They are weak people. I'll just, I'm going to, I'm going to be you know, genderless here. It's guys and girls. I'm not just going to say it's men. It's weak men and women that are looking for purpose. They didn't find the flag. They didn't find the badge. They found their anti-fascist club. They will go out and fight for it. Captain America in this issue is talking about Red Skull's followers, ergo Jordan Peterson followers. But what he's fucking really talking about is Antifa, is BLM, is social justice warriors. People with meaningless lives that have nothing to do but complain about made up shit. But what you're doing, Tanahisi Coates, is projecting it onto other people. Now, I don't know Jordan Peterson personally, never met him personally. I've watched some of his videos. I don't know everything about him, but what I do know is that he just seems to be a guy that's like, don't compel me to say words I don't want to say and maybe have some self responsibility. And all Jordan Peterson, from what I know, has ever said is be responsible for your life. Clean your room. <laughs> like, I don't know how it's that hard. Now, of course, you go on Twitter 
he he's like, what is this? Why is somebody equating me to a supervillain? It starts trending. And of course, Twitter doesn't do the thing where it, you know, it trends other tweets that are like back and forth with people that agree with it, people that don't agree with it, uh, people that are making fun of him, people that are supporting him. No, what they do is they put nothing but people that are just trashing Jordan Peterson on the trending page. It's nothing but that. Sweetheart, if someone thought, yeah, those Jordan Peterson quotes would be in character for Red Skull, maybe it's time to think long and hard about your personal values and politics. No, it's not somebody that thinks Jordan Peterson quotes are in character for Red Skull. It's somebody that wrote Red Skull to mirror Jordan Peterson. It's not Red Skull already here and then you go, oh, Jordan Peterson, that makes sense. No, no, no. You're making Red Skull into Jordan Peterson. There's a difference. And you don't you don't understand that, uh, furry. Literally never heard of Jordan Peterson before today. I do, however, know how Red Skull has been written for 40 years. Sounds like a case of a hit dog hollers to me. Maybe if you don't publish Nazi shit, you wouldn't be shocked when a Nazi agrees with you. What are you talking about? What is Nazi about Jordan Peterson? You just said you don't know who the fuck he is. You just said you don't know who he is. And then you go off and say, oh, maybe if you didn't post Nazi shit. Take two seconds. Google. Jordan Peterson. There's nothing Nazi about Jordan Peterson. That is what ta Coates wants. ta Coates wants people that don't know who Jordan Peterson is to just assume because somebody equated Jordan Peterson to Red Skull that Jordan Peterson, ergo, is a Nazi. Unpersoning. Cancel culture. All you guys out there that aren't keeping up to date with the pop culture kind of infiltration of SJWs and activists know this kind of stuff is happening. It's been happening. This issue was three years ago. So that's how you know. Like It's been going on and comics are already on the downtrend. That shows you how little people on the mainstream actually pay attention to comics because this stuff has been in Marvel and DC Comics for about four or five years. It's been getting worse. It is at the point where the comics industry is going to crash because nobody buys their fucking comics. It, at this point, it's just sit back, get some popcorn, watch it burn, and uh, you know, uh, laugh whenever it's all gone and you go, ah, well, I guess we'll just go to our independent comics because they're doing way better than mainstream comics. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I hope you liked it. I don't know. It's a little bit of a different, uh, you know, format. Comment below. Let me know if you liked the format. And uh, maybe I'll do more of this stuff. I'll get, keep you guys informed. Because I know I watch a lot of this stuff. So I assume that other people that are following me would be like, oh, I've already seen it. But then I'm like, well, there's probably some people that don't know. So I might as well let you know. I'll send this to my brother. He doesn't know shit about this. <laughs> Comment below. Like it, dislike it if you want to, if you still can. Sub, unsub, sub back again, do a turn, sub again, because it'll probably be unsubbed, and then uh, share it. I appreciate it. Anyways, uh, probably going to go play some Valheim. <laughs>